Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. What is the difference between manual testing and automation testing? What is the difference between manual testing and automation testing? So guys, the following are the six differences. Okay, that you can mention as an answer for this kind of interview question. Okay, I don't. Uh, we can even drag more, like uh, more than six. Also, we can drag. But I, what I felt is like the six differences will be enough. Okay, they are very straightforward and effective for you to answer as part of this question in the in any in interview. Okay, if you can mention the six differences, that will be enough as of as of this question. Okay, the following are the differences differences between manual and automation testing. To get started, the first difference is that in automation testing. The test cases will be executed by an automation testing tool. Okay, in automation testing, the test cases will be executed using the automation testing tools. Whereas in manual testing, the test cases will be executed by human testers, right? Human testers without using any automation testing tools. Human testers without using any automation tools, the test cases will be executed in manual testing. Whereas in automation testing, all the test cases will be executed using the automation testing tools that's the difference here with the use of automation testing tools here without any automation testing tools with the help of human testers the testing will be performed in manual test fine now difference two that is the first difference case with the tool with automation testing tool and without automation testing tool is the first difference coming to the second difference automation testing is always faster guys okay the speed of executing the test cases okay by the time you complete one or two test cases, one, one or uh, by the time a um, human tester execute one or two test cases, automation testing will almost complete five to six test cases, guys. Okay, so automation testing is faster, whereas manual testing consumes a lot of time and energy of resources. Based on the mindset of the user or uh, tester, it will take a lot of time as part of manual testing. But coming to the automation testing, it is already scripted, and the tool will go accordingly, and it will be executed very fast. Okay. Automation testing is kind of faster when compared to the manual testing. Manual testing consumes a lot of time. That's the second difference. Time, okay. Speed, speed is automation testing is faster than manual testing is the second difference. Third difference is, okay. Mm, third difference is automation testing is scripted, guys, and doesn't allow any exploratory or random testing. Okay. So whatever the test cases you provide to the automation testing tool automation tool automation testing tool will execute only those test cases but it cannot think behind that right automation tool cannot think behind whatever that is instructed to it to them so whereas in manual testing as human human tester is performing this kind of testing based on the situations that he come across while testing the application, he may do some exploratory or random testing with an intention of finding some new or additional bugs, right? Whereas automation testing tool is not like that, guys. Automation testing testing tool will only perform the test cases which are provided as input at the beginning of the execution. Whereas manual testing can go outside of these limits and stop here and there and explore the stuff with an intention of finding whether the application is working fine or not, or is there any bug existing exists in the application so automation tool testing tool cannot think whereas manual in manual testing human resource can think and do some exploratory and random testing on the need basis that is a third difference fourth difference is in automation testing the initial investment is higher okay you have to invest on the tools you have to invest on the automation engineers okay uh, they cost higher than the manual testers right so we have to invest more in the initial Initial investments are higher. You have to invest for tools. So even uh, if you are using some free tools, that's fine. But uh, most of the, like a uh, few companies may be using some paid tools for automation. So that, that may cost even higher. So for tools, for uh, technicality, or for the uh, kind of resources, uh, the investment may be, investment will be higher in the initial phases for automation testing. But on the long run, okay, uh, based on how long the project goes on, the ROI, ROI return on investment will become better. Okay, ROI will come in the long run, guys. Uh, you will if, if the project is running for a long period of time, then you will definitely feel that uh, the investment is worthful. Okay, return on investment will be better on the long run for automation testing. Okay, but in manual testing, 
the investment is lower guys okay when compared to automation testing the initial investment is kind of lower and even since the investment is lower on the long run return on investment will also be as lower when compared to automation okay over the long run automation testing is a better option for the shorter run manual testing is a better option okay if the project is going to end with uh, in less period of time then we don't have to go with automation testing guys we have to do manual testing but if the project is very long term project uh, in that case guys uh, automation testing will give very good return on investment okay fine that is the fourth difference and fifth difference is fifth difference is automation testing is accurate okay it's faster and at the same time it's accurate also why because tools will not do any mistakes guys okay whatever that is scripted it, the tools will implement the same thing okay our uh, tools will not do any mistake that's why automation testing is kind of accurate it will provide accurate results okay if it says pass it's pass okay fail it's fail so whereas manual testing is error prone okay do, do, why it's error prone why manual testing is error prone even though the results are said as pa pass there may be a chance that manual testing is done wrong and uh, those results are actually failing okay so the result provided may mismatch due to the human tendency of doing mistakes human people human beings are kind of uh, has a lot of possibility of doing mistakes that's the reason manual testing is error prone when compared to automation testing but automation testing is kind of accurate okay they will not do any mistakes Man humans may do a uh, lot of mistakes due to the tiredness or boredom or whatever it is they may uh, they may cause some um, they may do some mistakes and uh, result application uh, give the results in a wrong way whereas automation testing is very accurate as the results so this is another difference and last difference that is difference six that is automation testing requires some technical or programming skills for writing the automation scripts right you have to learn some programming language like java or some other language uh, to automate the scripts and uh, which actually uh, based on expertise uh, need to be written few people are very good at uh, creating the automation code uh, using the tools whereas few people are not that to the mark so automation testing requires programming skills whereas manual testing doesn't require any programming skills for their execution so these are the six differences guys that you can mention uh, when this particular type of question is asked in the interviews this will add a lot of values okay based on the number of hands number of differences you will tell uh, it will add a lot of uh, that that amount of uh, value to the answer okay so that's it guys thank you bye